can I make this moment that I really enjoy last forever, not a blink of an eye? And can I make those moments that really I'm not very fond of to last a blink of an eye and not an excruciating forever? The answer is yes, actually it's possible. Could it be that our inner state can influence the time perception and the time experience? And if so, can I do something about it? We will be able to enlarge our available time in extents that is hard to imagine, even though you have exactly the same number of days as before, but you will be different than before. And this is the shift of paradigm that I'm suggesting uh, here. The biggest time treasure of our life is hiding or is lost between our moments of awareness. I found, uh, for instance, in an ancient book, the following definition of time. Time is the interval between two meditations. Of course, it sounds poetic. It can put it on a Christmas card, but it's interesting that that covers a very profound mechanism. Meditation is the state that appears in the consciousness when attention flow continuously without interruption on a certain topic. Meditation state, which is timeless. If the meditation is interrupted, time starts to flow. You are back into the meditation, time doesn't flow anymore, it's timeless. I first read these things when I was 21, and my first impulse coming from teenage years, raised in a family of scientists where our daily program was our religious practice. We have a school program and everything was so well organized. And uh, when I read about that, it was like El Dorado. I discovered the source of time. Let's see if it's true. Because of course, the point was, it's too good to be true. And I started to apply these methods. I have experienced the fact that indeed, meditation is a timeless experience. And when you are out of it, you start to have what? Gaps, moments of unawareness, which subjectively, are the only moments we record as time. So practically, all our time resources are blocked between moments of awareness. The way we function in reality, we check with reality from time to time, and in between, we complete this with autopilot, with subroutines. Therefore, it seems like the day is passing super fast. What I'm saying, the rate, the refresh rate of our consciousness is influencing our time experience enormously much. And I've seen it in myself, I've seen it in other practitioners who succeeded that, they all say the same thing. Suddenly, this process of the day shrinking stopped, and now my day is continuously expanding again. What I remembered a few years ago to be a 16-hour active part of the day, now is what I do in the morning. And the rest of the day, I still have a lot of time.